Uh, which is two and one right now, and we have a protest going now on between uh, Tim Adams against uh, Matty Haas of Nauset here on Nantucket Sound. This is the uh, actually the third protest this afternoon. Uh, the other two were upheld, and Harwich is in the lead at this point. But this is a pivotal race for both teams. Our rivals, uh, long sailing history together. Start of the fifth race for Harwich. And uh, here they are getting ready to go off the line. It looks like the whistle has been blown. Pete in the pin position. I uh, can't tell what our numbers are, high or low. Stand by. Okay, what we're seeing now is the number four boat. Tim Adams is tacked on to starboard. Uh, and he's uh, up above the uh, two Nosset boats. And over at the other mark, looks like Pete is actually doing very well. He's on port. Uh, but he is much closer to the pin, which is right here to our right. And he is, he again, he is tacking on to starboard. So we'll have a 1-2 at the pin. This is a uh, race number four uh, being raced here at this time. Uh, here comes the mark rounding. No traps required. Solid 1-2 uh, position for Harwich at this time. And here comes Laura on the... Uh, Port tack to the pin. She'll have to dip these boat these boats here. Uh, but right now, solid one two. Solid one two. Let's see. Let's watch Laura. She's coming across on port. She's taking the back of the train here. So she'll be in the number six slot. Uh, Maddie Haas in third position. Neil Drake in fourth position. Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot of hope here for Nauset to pull out of this thing, but it, we got a long leg ahead of us and a lot of racing to go in the fourth race. This will be the determining one for the Harwich Nauset team. Okay, Harwich with a uh, one, two, six after the jive mark. They're heading down the leeward mark at this time, race four. This is the rubber match for Harwich. Got to do it. Race committee over here to our left and dry mark out by the Sack of Tucket Jetty. I don't know if Matty can close it or not. He's trying to, he's trying to, hard to fight or to get over those guys to slow him down. He's got to get over Pete Sawyer and Tim Adams. Try to throw some wind shadow. I don't think it's going to happen here. And it looks like Laura is making her move now in the sixth position on the number five boat. Okay. Uh, Okay, well here we are, the windward leg to the finish line. Pete on starboard tack at this time, and over to our right is Tim. Looks like they have a solid one, two. Maddie couldn't leverage that uh, wind shadow, so uh, looks like a clean break for Harwich right now. And Laura is still appears to be in the number six. Here they're coming close to the finish line. Finish line right here. 